I'm Grace LaVarrier, your Tehachapi neighborhood reporter. Halloween falling on a weeknight this year is not stopping the festivities from happening here in downtown Tehachapi. Because it's such a big turnout, it's an awful lot of candy. <laughs> A local business owner decided to revive an old Halloween event, the Treat Trail. We started because of COVID when everybody wasn't going outside and people were afraid to open their doors to trick or treat. Once the pandemic waned, the Treat Trail took a back seat to traditional trick or treating. This year, it's making a comeback. Wanted to bring the families and have a safe spot so that they could trick or treat, have lighting, and also, you know, get all the businesses involved. The trail takes trick-or-treaters through downtown Tehachapi, where over 40 local businesses will be open and passing out treats. It starts at 4 o'clock on Halloween and goes until 7 p.m. We're all going to be open at the same time. You know, a lot of businesses are closed on certain days or they close early or they don't open that day. So I think it's really nice. A local nonprofit, Tehachapi Amateur Radio Association, will bring something out of this world to the treat trail. Yeah, and we've got the black lights and the UFO alien flying and one that's crashed. The Area 51 themed booth will be set up at the Chamber of Commerce where people can take photos with the aliens and learn about the Ham Radio Club. People get to know that we're out in the community and we're trying to be part of the community and uh, let people know we exist and we're here to help. There is a large amount of community support and involvement this year. So it's really a way for everybody to get familiar with what businesses are participating and I think actually most are so it'll be a really nice event. For more information on the treat trail and the businesses participating you can visit our website turn to 23.com. In Tehachapi, I'm Grace LaVarrier, your neighborhood reporter.